I'm Chef Isabel, and I'm with Curie Food Service. Welcome to our short series featuring our premium poultry line, Winchester Farms. It's a collection of products geared to solve any of your chicken needs in any kitchen with a focus on better price and better flavor. So let's get in the kitchen. Okay, so today we're going to run through our uncooked breaded Italian tender. It's going to be code 1205 on our website. It's going to come to you in a 10 pound case with two 5 pound bags. From that piece, you're going to get an 80 to 90 count. So out of piece, a lot of longevity and a lot of use. Looking at the tender specifically, a couple points that I like to think about this tender in general. If one is going to be a little bit flatter, almost like that style tender that we also have, it's going to be a true tenderloin, but it is a little bit flatter in look and style. Obviously, the big difference with this one is that it does have that Italian bread. So it has the garlic, the oregano, the sort of classic Italian flavors. These were designed to be able to be cooked in a fryer, but also in an oven. We understand that a lot of Italian-based sort of background restaurants, whether it be a pizza chain or anything like that, don't have fryers always available. So these are perfect in the oven as well. So I'm going to do just that. I'm going to crisp them up in the fryer, crisp them up in the oven, and we're going to look at the fryer product. So our tenders are out of the oven and the fryer. Um, I'd like to point out a few things. Obviously, the color difference is going to come from one being engulfed in hot oil and the other one being in the oven, but the texture is going to be consistent. You're going to have a great crunch, a great retention of breading. You can see the little spots of oregano, you can smell the garlic coming off the product, and that's true with the Italian flavor that goes in the breading. Cutting into both of them, much like the breading stays consistent with both cooking ways, the texture within both stays very moist. It's a low pump product. So you're gonna have a great moisture retention within the product as well. Like I said before, they're a true tenderloin, so that's why they're a little bit flatter. The piece size is gonna be a little bit less consistent, but the plus size of it being a true tenderloin is that it's not gonna blow up when it's actually in the fryer, which can be a problem with some being cut from an actual breast. And then also with the tenderloin, the mouth feels a little bit less chewy, a little bit just more tender, thanks to the tenderloin. Although these tenders have their Italian breading, they do lend themselves a bunch of Ways, whether it be a sub on pizza, I made a chicken parm, but it also just loads itself with that classic tender basket for your guests. But that's the, the basic rundown for our Italian tender. If you have any questions about this product or any of our other products, please reach out to us using the information below. If you haven't already, be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and now YouTube. Thank you guys so much for stopping by, and we will see you soon.